I, I belong to that uh, part of Ukrainians who really do not like to, to comment on uh, any kind of offensive operation from our side. Why? Because we, this process is very sensitive. And uh, as you know, the big plants, they need, uh, they need silence. Uh, yesterday, we even had the, um, the special comment from the general staff to Ukrainians that uh, keep calm, keep, uh, keep silence, um, and support Ukrainian armed forces. Um, yes, we see the actions, uh, especially not, in, not only in the east, but uh, in the south as well. But at the same time, we see what's going on in Belgorod and the ter- Russian territory. And um, I'm not ready to comment whether it's the, the, the actions on, on the south, the part of the offensive operation. But I would say that um, I'm pretty sure that general staff and our commanders, they know the the day or the right moment, I hope they will choose the right moment to to start the the big um, the big offensive or counteroffensive operation. I would say because that long front line along the east of the country has been many parts of it have been at a standstill for quite some time, and we know that the Russians are quite strongly dug in. It's very important, isn't it, that Ukraine does try to get some of this territory back. Yes, for sure. You're right. But uh, what do we see in the front line? Uh, the last, especially a week or t- even more, two weeks, uh, we see the very active um, actions near Kharkiv, on Kharkiv region. We see the concentrate, concentrating uh, of the um, Russian troops on, on that side. Uh, and we are trying to be more mobilized on that way. Uh, still, except Bakhmut or the end of the uh, small town Bakhmut, we have Vuhudar, Marienka, uh, Avdivka, the, the really uh, very active um, combat actions. Uh, they are still there, still on finance on the front line. Um, but uh, at the same time, I would say, and I would I would like to, um, to emphasize on that, when we when we speak or talk about the the offensive operation. I would say I would be back to one very small but very important thing. That's the needs of the of the military uh, aid, military aid uh, to the new formed brigades. Uh, when we see the news on the top um, international media that they are ready and they are full of um, um, of the vehicles, army vehicles, or the um, the um, uh, the weapon they, they need, uh, I want to say that uh, the math shows different, uh, a bit different uh, results, and I'm not sure we are all fully 100% ready for that. So that's why these actions, which are now, we can say that that could be a part of the offensive operation, or that just can be a part of the uh, combat actions, regular combat actions. Russia uh, has said that there was this battle in Donetsk. Uh, It even released some video and it claims to have killed uh, 300 Ukrainian troops, destroyed 16 tanks. What do you make of those claims? Uh, I would say that that's a part of their uh, their, um, psyops. Um, That's that's, that's the information which um, which can be called fake. Uh, fake news, fake information. Uh, we we do not see in the media or through the official Ukrainian position um, anything on that. Um, and I would say that in Donetsk uh, that can be shellings and hittings the, um, or the buildings or houses can be hit from, from the artillery from the Ukrainian side, but no more. And uh, um, nothing, nothing to command on a, on, a, on a new Russian um, uh, illu- illusion that they are pushing through the media. So those claims from Russia to have killed 300 of your troops, to have destroyed many of your tanks and to have repulsed a Ukrainian attack, those are wrong, are they? Um, I would say yes. We don't have any official um, statement from Ukrainian side. And as far as I know, um, that's, that's, not, not, that, that's not the truth information. What about in Bakhmut? Uh, we had some suggestion uh, that the Wagner group of uh, troops which have been fighting on behalf of the Russian ha- Russians have actually pulled out. What's your understanding of what is happening in Bakhmut? 
I would say this this uh, moving uh, movings uh, between the Wagner groups and their um, and their armed forces, military Russian troops. They that the part of their battles within the towers in Kremlin. Um, we remember how the actually months ago when Prohozhin said that he is withdrawing his troops, Wagner, Wagner group, and that's what that was the fake. That's what the information just to um, just to see direction from Putin or from from the um, Russian general of staff. They they stayed in the in Bakhmut. They continue to fight. They are still now in Bakhmut. Um, uh, and and not now what we see we see the conflict between the Wagner group and between the, um, and the, and the from the other side. That's a regular Russian army. Um, um, that's the. Um, Battle for, for influence, I would say, for Putin's attention uh, and for influence in, in the battle. Uh, I would say that, uh, nevertheless, when we are saying that Wagner, they lost a lot, but still they show result even in um, in uh, ten months, eleven months of being um, destroying of, of destroying the Bakhmut and uh, taking under their uh, occupation. Uh, but still, that that for us, for Ukrainians, seems to be more the internal conflicts and, and uh, problems, rather than something it can change on, on uh, battles, battlefield uh, in Bakhmut. What about what is happening in Bolgorod, inside Russian territory, but close to the border with Ukraine? We are hearing that there were some captured Russian soldiers um, by fighters uh, who are sympathetic to Ukraine. I mean, can you confirm that? Have you received any Russian soldiers? And do you support this action inside Russian territory? Uh, so we support the um, the rebels, actually the Russian uh, Russian volunteers um, fighters who decided to start to start the reoccupation operation, and uh, it's like we we will support as Ukraine. That's the internal internal politics. That's that's what um, why they they came actually to start to maybe it's probably to overcome the Putin's regime. Is that that's the they see the way of how to overcome or, uh, or how to win uh, or how to finally to reoccupy the Russian Federation from that from that regime? That's okay, but that's their choice. Uh, I would say we are more concentrated on uh, on what is happening now on the front line in Ukraine. Um, at the same time. We know that the governor of Belgrade he refused to take back um, his prisoners of war actually uh, back, and that actually again and again shows their attitude to their uh, um, uh, soldiers. 